Also, why wasn't Nicole Kidman invited to her daughter's wedding? We'll tell you. But first, Will Smith is making new music and may finally go on tour with DJ Jazzy Jack. Will Smith is returning to his roots. The Oscar-nominated actor reveals he's spending most days in the studio. And he may finally go on a world tour with DJ Jazzy Jazz. Here it is, a cool, slightly transformed. While the duo recorded five albums together and won two Grammys, they never went on a world tour. But they're looking to hit the road next summer. Smith says that he was working on new music while shooting his upcoming thriller, Suicide Squad, which was filmed in Toronto. He says he's recorded around 30 songs. Just last week, he released a remix of Fiesta with the Colombian band Bomba Estereo. Only you know me, OG, high class and low key, trying to find me a Sophie Baguetta. Nicole Kidman's daughter, Isabella, whom she shares with ex Tom Cruise, tied the knot in a secret ceremony in London last month. And there are conflicting reports about how involved the 22 year old's famous parents were in the nuptials. Some sources say it was a Scientology ceremony. Isabella and her brother Connor were brought up as Scientologists after being adopted by Cruise and Kidman during the couple's 11 year marriage. Reports say Cruise was at the wedding, while Kidman didn't even know it was happening. However, other reports say Isabella and her fiance Beyonce wanted it to be a low-key affair, so they decided against involving both of her famous parents. Pregnant Kim Kardashian West is not feeling the miracle of life. The reality star wrote on her website that pregnancy is, quote, the worst experience of her life. In the honest and blunt post, she writes, I just always feel like I'm not in my own skin. People just don't tell you all of the gross things that happen during pregnancy or after. But the star ends on a positive note, saying it's 100% worth it once you have your baby. My name's Rick Carver. I'm a licensed real estate broker. This home has been foreclosed on. There's fear pushing us toward our decisions a lot of the time. That fear is one of the things that keeps us from empathy and compassion. Desperation drives Andrew Garfield's character in the film 99 Homes about a man who accepts a job with the ruthless realtor who evicted him and his family from their home. Feels a bit like trouble. What do you think it was going to mean working for me? 99 Homes hits all major theaters on Friday. Another film set to hit the big screen, My Internship in Canada, which takes a satirical look at Canadian politics. Terry Hart caught up with the film stars. Canadian politics in movies are not a natural fit. What makes this work? The humor and the fact that it's not dark. It's a... Uh, it's about a lot of good people trying to do the right thing, but it's tough to do it in this system. You have this guy from 80, this young guy, who actually knows more than the MP that he's working for. My internship in Canada hits theaters on Friday. You do all these paint by numbers? Found them at a gallery. Were they in the garbage? Everyone's favorite undead heroine, Liv Moore, is back for iZombie Season 2, premiering today only on Show Me. And there's more to look forward to. Over 100 hours of 4K content is coming to Show Me as part of Rogers' rollout of its new 4K TV, 4K set top box, and 4K ready gigabyte internet speeds. And remember to get your entertainment news first in the morning right here on Entertainment City and anytime on Twitter at Ent City.